currently 5 30 in the morning we have a 20 hour travel day ahead of us if all goes well the I think it's called the temple of heaven and there are these really cute little cocoon things with lace curtains and it's very echoey and there are heaps lined up right next to each other so I'm trying not to talk too loud but it is just the coolest thing it's like a rooftop there's a cafe I think there's a bar up here as well um, really nice areas with umbrellas if it's too hot I highly highly recommend you come here because you can pretty much see all of the Beijing skyline which is really cool it's locked. Did oh, you use the western one? Yeah, mm -hmm. I used the western one. Oh, I was just talking to the vlog, but this is perfect timing oh, because <laughs> no, the western toilets. So there's a thing where there's sometimes there's no western toilets and sometimes there's squat toilets. Um, if you follow me over on Instagram, I posted a little thing of a, um, a squat toilet and I just find it so bizarre. It's just, is, are there western toilets everywhere? Well, not every No, sometimes it's only a squat toilet. Sometimes it's only a squat toilet. How wild is that? Got a cute little library. There's mum. Cute little mum. Cute little mum. Hi mum. Hey dub. <laughs> but yeah, it is just so cool. Although, I think you have to pay for the aircon if you want it. I can't read Chinese, but there's numbers on it, so you might have to pay for the aircon. But yeah, that's my little update for now. Oh, sorry, I ate some cake. Didn't even wait for the phone. Sure, I, was, I was actually just going to get the coffee, but then oh. I thought, mm, you know what? I might as well get the cake in the background. Mm, may as well. It's been good buttering today. Mm. You did do good buttering. But the thing is, always to do it lightheartedly. Mm. That way it doesn't get... Doesn't get aggressive or angry. Even with bloody tough old lady. Mm. 
You still do it with a smile on your face. Like a little taste. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Can you have any lunch? Scoffing it down. No, it's two different parts of my stomach. Oh, there's one set aside for sweet. Yeah, there's a sweet area in my stomach that's just growling at me. Even if I've had a... Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Currently 5 a.m. We're getting ready for a very early flight. We are flying into Guilin and we're staying at the place called Yang Shuo. Is that right, Mum? Yang Shuo. Yang Shuo. <laughs> Lots of names around here that are a little difficult to pronounce, but yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. There it is. And bluffed again. <laughs> got that tangy ginger taste to it. Would you share a bit of garlic bread with me? You might do, I know, I know. Don't, don't, don't come at me. I want my bread. I love brie and cranberry together. Mm. That's on one of my favorite grilled burgers. The best, yeah.
what? <laughs> so we've just checked in to this gorgeous, gorgeous hotel. It's I'll put the proper name on the screen here, but it's the some Yangshao Yangshao Mountain Retreat or something. And I need to show you the view. The view from our balcony. The best view that I've had from any hotel room in my entire life. I need to show you. Okay, so this is the whole balcony area. You can't tell me that this isn't the most incredible view you've ever seen from a balcony. And here's mum relaxing on the balcony. Beautiful. Isn't it just stunning? So, so beautiful. I just can't get over the view. I just can't stop looking at it. It doesn't, it doesn't look real. Am I gonna go on one of the boat, on one of the rafts tomorrow, hopefully? So we've just been served some hot water, which I think is a little bit bizarre. Oh, you're slipping. So it's hot lemon water and I'm going to give it a go. I actually, I heard in China, they don't see cold water and cold drinks as being good for your system. So they always have lukewarm water or hot water available, which I found really fascinating. And this is a hot lemon water that we just got served at our table. doesn't feel right. <laughs> it doesn't feel right. Mi fan? Good food. Is that what that means? Mi yes. Oh. <laughs> now, I'm not a big fan of onion. Oh, I think that's Vegan. celery as well. Oh, thank, thank you. you. I don't know how to pick up flat things with chocolate. I have to like push it against something. the next morning and I've just come out onto the balcony and I still can't get over that this is the view from our room. If you ever, ever, ever get the chance to come to Young Shuo, Young Shuo, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but you have to stay in this place. It's called the Young Shuo Mountain Retreat and oh, if you stay in the same room that we stay in, like every one of the ladies when they ask for our room number they're like oh you've got a big balcony like that's a really good view in that room the room that we're staying in is 202a and the view is just absolutely insane it's incredible yesterday this lovely little chinese lady made us these little flower crown things and we paid five kwai for it and that's one Australian dollar. Like how much time it would have taken to make this. Just the lady that you saw a couple clips ago, I think. Um, oh, she was just so, so cute. And I bet she'll be out today selling things. Oh, and she also gave us these little ducks that I think are meant to, like you put them on your dinner table and they're meant to hold your chopsticks while you do other stuff. So you know how sometimes you just put your knife and fork down or you put your chopsticks down. So the bit that you're eating from doesn't go on the table, you just sit it like in the little duck's neck. We're currently out at breakfast and I must say they do the best freshly squeezed pineapple juice I've ever tasted. Oh, and look at the mountains. Feels like I'm in a movie. We 
we're just about to head out for an adventure for the day. We're gonna walk. I would walk Is 500 <laughs> miles. <laughs> Four and a half kilometers that way, whatever that is, and we're gonna hopefully get to the town of Young Schwal Town. Young Schwal. I'm gonna look back and be like, God, we butchered that. Yep. <laughs> but I got this little bum bag from the markets the other day that I think is really cute. I'm gonna put some tissues in it because we don't know what kind of toilets are gonna be around and if there's gonna be any toilet paper. Oh, and a fun fact one thing I didn't know before coming to China that you're not meant to put toilet paper into the toilet so some west like there's some western toilets around which just looks like a regular australian toilet um but they say don't put toilet paper down or tissues or anything because their system can't handle it so you put it in a bin next to you and it's just open there for everyone to see <laughs> the it's similar in this hotel but there's like a nice lid and they clean and sanitize it every day and it doesn't really smell um, but in some public toilets, it's a little, it's a little confronting. So we always just pack tissues. And most, a lot of hotels, you can flush the toilet. Oh yeah, this yeah, one. yeah. Not all hotels. But yeah, it's just a little. I don't know. Confronting is maybe a bit too strong of a word. It's just in different. Different. Didn't yeah. expect it. Mm. Don't really enjoy it. Oh, it's literally there. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I thought I lost my phone, but you're literally right there. I was like, oh, I need my phone for my bum bag. Yeah. Have I left it at breakfast? But I'm literally filming on it. <laughs> that was silly. Got my sneeze. Got my hat. After we walk into the town, we're planning on doing the little raft thing that flows down the river. And we've just put on some shoes that we don't really mind getting wet because... There are some parts of this ride, I think I'd call it, that when you go down, it like like really splashes into the river. So we've just got shoes on that. We don't mind getting a little bit wet. All we're taking is just things that can be zipped up. That's going to be our day. And also another thing, you need to take your passport everywhere with you as a foreigner because anywhere you go, someone could just say, ah, excuse me, you're not meant to be here, passport. I imagine that's what they would say. So yeah, you just need to take your passport everywhere with you to make sure that you're allowed to be here. Um, and the beds here rock hard. So you know how some beds, you know, you jump on it and it kind of like bounces up and down. This one, <laughs> straight down. It's very hard, but they do offer um, extra sheets to make it softer. But yeah, I didn't have the best night's sleep last night. So keep that in mind if you do want to come Little and stay princess. here. I am a little princess when it comes to bedding. I like a good night's sleep and I like to feel like I'm sleeping on a cliff. what was in it so I'm gonna give it a little taste test oh that is very strong oh it's like um mango Should I go out there and say yeah, uh, you can have a photo? Oh. If she looks again, just give her a wave. 
I do, I'm gorgeous. <laughs> Alright, I don't get that. They're like giggling and laughing like, oh, what would you do for me? But the random is the... She's not like a celebrity or anything, you know that. I'm excited because of... This is on what? A young, pretty part, I like small and small. Yeah. <laughs> it's just funny. The first day when we came to like eight people, six people, whatever it was. Yeah. We've just embarked on the Moon Hill adventure. Oh, I actually should have got a, a clip of it when we could see it. That's all right. It's uh, lots and lots of stairs. We're about 10 stairs from the bottom and I'm already puffing. 800 stairs. I oh, think. 800 stairs. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough walk, I think, but it just looks so, so cool. It's way up in the mountains. It's this little, does the moon shine through it? Is that what, Hello. where the name comes from? It's round. It's what yeah, it's like a little round arch. Okay, I've got to stop talking now. 
Moon Palace or Moon Pavilion. Caution, rainy days is slip. most beautiful beautiful place so beautiful have to come here moon hill hike but follow the directions to moon palace it's cheers <laughs>
getting ready to leave the Yangshuo Mountain Retreat. Very sad day because this is the best view I've ever had from a hotel room. Um, but I wanted to show you this because yesterday when we were at our West Street Market at night, these lovely girls gave mum a little flower. Just out of the blue. They're like, here you go. And it was really nice. But we're not allowed to take it with us. So I just thought I would show you now before we leave. But yeah, we're going to get the one and a half hour car ride to the airport. And then three hour flight back to Beijing. And then we're going to keep exploring from there. So this is the end of our Young Shuo adventure. I feel like I'm still butchering that name. <laughs> In all of these clips, I'm going to go back and be like, oh, that's definitely not how it's pronounced. It's been a little bit hazy with the mountains ever since we've been here, but I think that's pretty normal for this area. There was one moment when the sun came out and we got like different videos and photos of them and it just looked completely different. So yeah, I guess it's just luck of the draw, whether you get a sunny day or a hazy day. currently at the base of the Great Wall of China which just saying that is blowing my mind like this is a bucket list thing for me and I'm just so excited to be here I'm so excited there's a couple of groups of school kids that were in front of us and they've taken the other path and they're walking up to the wall and it's like steep like you just saw the gondolas that we're gonna take and how steep that goes there's literally school kids. It might be their PE session or something, but they're walking up to it, which is just insane. you have to do it just for the experience you know oh, it's just so far up
is that, Mum? Oh, my red face, red face. <laughs> so we've just come to this little cafe. We've got a Sprite and an ice cream that's pea flavored. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Dad, you're just peeing your mouth. <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> Probably one of the worst choices I've ever made. Do you want to have a bite? Yes. It's peas and ice cream. I had to try it. It's part of the experience, um, but it doesn't taste very good. It's awful. It's <laughs> awful. It's awful. Um, yeah, happy to leave that there. I need some Sprite to wash it down. really uh, interesting experience near Tiananmen Square. We just wanted to go for a walk around and just have a look really. We just wanted to have a look. We didn't have um, any tickets, appointments or anything. We weren't planning on going in, um, but you can't even walk around the outside of it without having some sort of appointment. And we, there, it's like barricaded all, like all of these barricades are up the streets for, would you say kilometers? Yeah. Probably kilometers. Oh, there's also <laughs> lots of tour groups on at the moment. But yeah, it's just a uh, bit of a, a nuisance. A nuisance, I guess you'd call it. Uh, really annoying that they'd make you walk all the way down the street, across, and all the way back up for about 20 minutes just to say, no, nope, you can't even walk near it. And to go through one queue and show how I do it. Yeah. Yeah, we had to go through one queue and show our ID. It was like bottlenecked, full of people. I don't even know if you can see the crowds behind me. But yeah, and then the second little booth that we got to, yeah, they looked at our passports, they typed in our number, and it came up with a little exclamation marks like, oh, you don't have an appointment to walk here. So I just think that's really bizarre. Anything else you'd like to add to that story? Uh, no, that's just China. <laughs> that's just China.